what's up guys welcome back to another video and uh, in today's video first of all i didn't make any videos like this for the past almost two weeks i think that's because i was out of town and i was working on a course guys anyway i uh, released the course last week and i even offered uh, giveaway tokens and all that right to grab a copy of that course it's it covers the flutter basics entirely and it also deals with some basic introduction to firebase and firebase authentication so to get a, a course at a discount or to get that course at a discounted price kindly see to the description below okay that was my plug that was uh, let's get that out of the way now um, in this video let's talk about slivers okay so what are slivers slivers are uh, before we see what are slivers i'll tell you what exactly we are going to do in this particular video you might have already seen this effect in most of the news sites right there, there will be some uh, image for a news topic and uh, there will be some news content below it once you try to scroll this entire thing it will automatically condense into a app bar which will maybe sometimes it will have the uh, title here of that uh, particular news article or sometimes it won't once if, if you scroll back down it will automatically uh, the app bar will change into that particular uh, image that was associated with that uh, news article right so uh, in this video we are going to see how to build this effect okay we can easily accomplish this in flutter using slivers so let's see how to do that uh, i have scaffolded out an application here as usual wait i have scaffolded out an application here as usual uh, there's nothing here okay there's a blank application with just a title bar let's just go ahead and make this into a extraordinary one okay uh, so the next thing now that i have a title the next thing would be i'll remove the center and i'll introduce a custom scroll view so what is this custom scroll use custom, custom scroll view is something you can uh, uh, if you use a custom scroll view you can use slivers inside it and then add all those scrolling effects okay uh, and this was a scrolling effect right the one that i just showed now was uh, entirely triggered based on the scroll position of the viewport that is based on the user scrolling through the uh, news article so we'll introduce a custom scroll view and inside that what you can do is uh, you can go first you'll add slivers slivers it will take a list of widgets just like your uh, children of a column or a row and uh, we'll, first I'll bring in a sliver app bar, sliver, sorry, sliver app bar. This is the app bar that will contain that particular uh, image, sliver app bar. And inside this, uh, I'll have some expanded uh, height so that the app bar has a width now. Height, I mean, there is a height of that app bar so that we can accommodate the entire image uh, I'll give it some 250 okay and the next thing is I'll we need that uh, uh, app bar to be like uh, flexible right so flexible space new flexible space bar and inside this I'll give a background background uh, image dot uh, network we are loading it from a network we can give a URL here I already have an URL here. I'll copy that and paste it here. Okay. Copy this entirely. Paste it here. And add a couple of quotes. I forgot to give that quotes. Okay. So I'm loading this image from a, a image provider. And I have, once I have this app bar, then there is no need for this app bar, right? What's the point of having two app bars? So I'll go ahead and remove that. Uh, so now our entire application has been uh, uh, pushed that is contained within this particular custom scroll view. Uh, okay, then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and add a sliver list. We can add, there are a lot of stuff, guys. Say, for instance, sliver, there is a grid, okay, and there is a list, there is an expansion, something I think. No, not an expansion, sorry. Uh, yeah, you can fill the viewport, you can fill all the remaining part of the sliver that's not contained by that particular child of this anyway we'll add a sliver list uh, i'll show you an example rather than me trying to explain what it uh, does inside the sliver list we add a delegate and uh, this delegate will be a sliver child uh, builder delegate okay this is used for building this 
child context index as you as usual just like we did for a list view builder i don't know how many of you remember that if you don't remember that there is a video specifically talking about lists and dialogs i'll link add a link to that video in the description as well uh, index uh, what can we do we'll add a new new card maybe new card okay and uh, you can add anything inside this okay not just a card you can add any sort of widget uh, flutter widget inside this particular uh, anyway we'll uh, continue with uh, if i start ranting as usual new container and inside this container i'll add some padding edge insets uh, dot all some 10.0 uh, some basic padding and uh, child new row and uh, inside this uh, main axis alignment uh, main axis alignment dot start so that it's left aligned and uh, children uh, inside the children what are, oh, I will need a de profile picture and a title that's it right a text that's it right so what I'll do is I'll add a circle avatar to bring in that uh, profile picture kind of thing circle avatar background color uh, colors dot transparent and uh, background image uh, new network uh, image once again i'll uh, paste a specific url that i have here okay this will pull in an image from uh, image provider once again and provide a profile picture for for me and i'll add one more child uh, that is a text i am uh, i am the card content cool right now you have a nice sliver inside this particular uh, sliver list and that's but nothing but a card so we what this will have is a list of cards since we are including this inside a sliver list it will have like a set of cards displayed one below the other and all will have some nice padding to it and above that uh, we have an extended expanded uh, app bar which is of height we are given a height 250 that's a big app bar and that app bar contains an image now uh, everything is contained within this uh, custom scroll view uh, which again is pushed inside the body so let's save this and run this and see what happens wow we get that nice image and we have oh, okay this card content and the avatar image are almost overlapping right since this is a row what we can do is we can go ahead and add a sized sorry sized box hmm. Now let's see. Okay, this is not important. <laughs> I guess this is not important, guys. Let's just try to scroll up and uh, see uh, how this effect looks. So I'm trying to scroll up. Wow, our app bar almost completely vanished, right? This is because we haven't given to uh, pin the tab bar to the top. Uh, our app bar should always be present at the top, right? So to pin that at the top, just give pin this true. Okay, pinned, uh, pinned is a uh, attribute. We are specifying that attribute to be true. Now, if you try scrolling, the tab bar will always be pinned on the screen. And if you pull it down, you get that nice effect, right? Okay, uh, suppose this is a news article, uh, assume that, okay. Now, uh, uh, if you wanted to add a title, maybe. Okay, uh, that you will do, right? So, if you wanted to add like a title, uh, text sliver effect that will also get uh, displayed nicely as you can see here and you can this entire thing will get if you don't want this title to be there when the thing vanishes you can simply give uh, uh, floating floating uh, true I think you need to turn that off I think 
see now the title vanishes when the app bar appears right when you scroll right if you turn that to false then it will always be present anyway uh, you get to where i'm going with this right uh, this is how you bring in uh, you can add a lot of stuff guys we'll remove this title now you get a nice back button here and you can also add a button for the debug okay anyway uh, this is how i think if we keep on adding more and more stuff then the video will get longer and longer anyway uh, this is what i wanted to show you guys today this is a nice effect that you could use for your profile screens i'll try to create a profile screen using this there will be a profile avatar and there will be something about that particular person and when you try to see more then the profile avatar will vanish and it will be replaced by a uh, app bar right the same effect i'll try to do that once and uh, if i'm uh, i mean once i finish that i'll post the code to github as well anyway main takeaway from this video uh, custom scroll view custom scroll views can be used to trigger any effect in your uh, applications while based upon the scrolling action of the user and uh, you can use uh, slivers inside custom scroll views to place any widgets that you want uh, as we saw here this is a just a very simple example there are a lot of stuff you can do okay uh, yeah this is what i wanted to show you guys uh, hit like if you like this video subscribe to my channel if you like what i'm doing on this channel and uh, also buy my course if you are interested and you wanted to support me the link is in the description and you can get it at a discounted price if you uh, navigate through this link so yeah guys uh, subscribe i'll talk to you guys in my next video bye